Com Dosan. No, no, no way. Genius had been after the wolf all day long because he wanted to ask for a small favor. But wolf, please. No means no. But I can't do it without you. Have you lost your mind, genius? Please say yes. Do you think I'm crazy to agree to get myself cut in half? I like my body, you know. I wouldn't be actually cutting you. It's a show, an illusion. No. Wait a second. Let's see what's behind Wolf's ear. There's nothing behind my ear. Ta-da! It's an egg. Oh boy! Golly gosh! How did it get there? Do you want this egg to be yours? Yes, yes, of course. Then all you need to do is let me cut you in half. Never, not even for an egg. What about doing it for a flower then? You tell me. Well, what if I pull a rabbit out of my hat? No way! Watch and see, Abracadabra! Ta-da! You've got to be kidding me! Are you a magician now? No, Wolf. It's just sleight of hand. How did you do that? A magician never reveals his secrets. Well, a wolf never gets cut in half. And why does it have to be me? Go, go butcher someone else. No, this trick was planned with you in mind. Would you look at that? His tricks include cutting me. But wolf, it's just pretending. It didn't matter what Genius said, he couldn't convince the wolf to help him. He went home feeling defeated. Genius is crazy, crazy! How can I agree to be cut in half? Oh, I'm hungry now. Maybe, maybe there's another egg behind my ear? Nothing. Hey! That egg came behind my ear, so it's basically mine! Hey, Genius! And the moment you've all been waiting for, Genius the Magnificent will cut his sister in half. Oh boy, is he gonna? Dang, he's actually cutting her! I can't look! Ooh, uh. Artist, stop moving so I can cut you correctly! Oh my, that's barbaric! I should call the police! Uh, why? There was a knock on Genius's door. It was the wolf and the police. What's wrong, officer? Save him, officer! He's gone insane! Let's see what's happening first, shall we? I'm getting ready for my show at the fair tonight. You should definitely see it. The wonders of Genius the Magnificent. Uh, Wolf, you call me for this? Don't you ever waste my time. It's a magic show. But, 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 uh... Hi there, Wolf. L -l 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 look, l -l look, who was split in half and is still talking. Ha, 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 ha. I told you it wasn't real, Wolf. It's an illusion. Come on, just say yes. It'll be more fun with you. Look, there's something behind your ear again. 
Oh boy! Another egg! It wasn't there when I checked, though! So what do you say? It's your last chance! I said no! Very well. Then I'll tell everyone that you were too scared to help me. You wouldn't do that. Sure I would. I'll tell them that Artist was more courageous. Oh, don't do that! And you would miss a standing ovation from the audience. Standing ovation, you say? Sure. Everyone would be watching us. And everyone on the farm and the forest would see how brave you are. Are you telling me the truth? Don't worry. On you go. I can do it without you. Before I go, will you show me how to do it? Maybe then I'll say yes. Hooray! Hooray! Genius showed the wolf how he hides the eggs in his sleeve. The wolf got a little upset when he found out there were actually no eggs behind his ear. You see? And that's my hat. There's a hidden compartment. What about cutting someone in half? That's not magic either! Of course not! Put on these shoes! They're just like my feet! Why would I wear them? Just wear them! And get in the box! When I close the panel, you'll pull your feet, but the shoes will stay there! Indeed they will! Ladies and gentlemen, now for oh. ah. now for the big moment. I'm cutting the wolf in half. I am Genius the Magnificent. Wait, 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 wait! I couldn't pull my feet! Help! Genius cuts the box in half. Hey, wolf! Are you okay? Oh, what have I done? Wait, 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 just kidding. <laughs> oh, Wolf, you and your pranks. The sun was shining brightly and the smell of fresh flowers permeated the air. The sound of happy chickens clucking, lambs bleating, and cows mooing surrounded the farm. Yet, there was another cheerful sound nearby. La 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 la, my beautiful wolves. While Stylish was joyfully knitting a colorful wool sweater, she was unaware that the wolf was watching her through the window. The wolf just observed what she was doing. Then ran away. La 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 la, my beautiful walls. La 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 la, my special needles. I'm knitting sweaters and socks, getting warm in winter rocks. Stylish kept singing and knitting when the wolf showed up with some needles. Good morning, Stylish. Good morning, wolf. May I come in? Sure. The door's open. W what are you doing? Uh, what's that? Oh, look. I'm knitting myself a beautiful sweater. Do you like it? It's not bad, but your little snow at knitting. I'm sure um, I can knit an entire scarf before you can finish it. Um, <laughs> are you kidding me? Don't be silly, Wolf. I don't think you even know how to knit. How about a bet then? For um, 5x? What do you say? Hmm, I'm not sure. Okay. 
Uh, then let's begin with these needles. Here, you can take these and iron it with this pair. Let's start the countdown. Three, two. As it turns out, after seeing stylish knitting, the wolf found two pairs of needles. He immediately covered one of the pairs with pine gum. One! Oh no! It's so sticky! What kind of needles are these? Come on, stop making excuses! I've already started! You did this, right? That's cheating! Don't be such a sore loser, stylish! <laughs> oh, I'm covered in gum! My sweater, my hair, my clothes! How could you do this? Oh. <laughs> stylish ran to the lake and tried to remove the gum sticking all over her. The gun was stuck and not coming off. Ah! The wolf approached her. He watched Stylish struggling in the lake and burst out laughing. Oh. <laughs> oh, Stylish! I see you've changed your style. Did you dye your hair green? Is it the trend this year? <laughs> it looks good on you. <laughs> talking to you. Just shut up, okay? Stylish was wet, dirty and sticky. She had enough of the wolf's mockery and just wanted all of this to be over. That's when she got an idea. My mom uses flour to keep the dough from sticking. Maybe it'll work with gum too. <laughs> Did you decide to be a ghost now? <laughs> Once I get rid of the sticky thing, I'll show you. Stylish couldn't remove the gum no matter what she tried and she didn't want to cut her hair at all. Oh, I, I don't want to cut my hair or my new sweater. Maybe I can cover my hair with a headband. Stylish made a beautiful headband, but luck wasn't on her side that day. No, that's the last thing I need. <laughs> so, so you decided to grow your horns as well? <laughs> Just shut up. It's already so hot, Wolf. I can't deal with you right now. Oh, it's melting. I got it. Ice. I need to find ice. Stylish put ice cubes on the gum. It started to come off once it got frozen. Hooray! At last, the gum got frozen and came off from Stylish's hair and sweater. Now it's time to deal with the wolf. Look, Stylish, it's cleaned up. You didn't have to make such a fuss about it. I think I was hilarious. <laughs> Stylish, uh, what are you doing? Why are you giving me the eggs? I need to play. And your pranks are terrible. But I love you. 
These eggs are a gift from me to you. The wolf's eyes widened and gaped at Stylish in utter shock. He started to stutter as he was stunned. Stylish, but, but how? So you love me? Oh, aren't you angry at me? <laughs> no, not at all. Upon hearing Stylish's response, the wolf felt terrible and apologized with tears in his eyes. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I'm a terrible friend. <laughs> You still love me after all the things I've done. You love me. She loves me. That day, strange noises were coming from the wolf's house. Oh, boy. Oh, me. Oh. The wolf tried to use his new roller skates all morning, but he couldn't even stand up. This time, I'll do it! I'll be the fastest roller skater around! Oh! As the wolf kept trying to stand up, the noises coming from his house could be heard at the farm. What's the wolf up to this time? I hope he isn't about to blow something up. Athlete headed out to the wolf's house. I'm sure I'll do it this time. I'm, I'm roller skating, you see? It looks like you wanted to do a handstand, but instead it looks like a tornado went through your house. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you funny? There's a race tonight. If I come in first, I'll win a fantastic vacation. I can help you if you like. Really? Sure, but we can't do it inside your house. We need more room. Uh, yes, uh, of course. Uh, I knew it. Uh, it's not for me. It's, uh, it's the house. Then the wolf and athlete went to a skating rink where they had more space to roller skate. Are you ready, wolf? I was born ready. Here I go. Stop, stop. I didn't tell you to roll. Oh! Help, help, help! Stop me, stop me! Where are the brakes? Wolf, wait! First you need to learn how to stand up. S standing up? Uh, no, we'll be here all night. I need to learn how to do this right away. But I must get up first. Oh. Hold my hand. Take your time. You'll need to learn this slowly before speeding up. Yes, speeding up. You're a genius athlete. What did I say? The wolf went back into the forest right away and built a giant slingshot. Now you'll see my speed. I'll be the fastest. Wait, wolf. It won't work. The wolf gained speed for a while. Oh, oh, it's happening. I'm speeding up. But then he lost his balance. Oh, mommy, no. How many times have I told you? First you must learn how to stand up. I don't understand why people call you athlete when you're such a smarty pan. If you are so good at this, show me what you got. Athlete wore the wolf's roller skates and headed back to the park. She was having a blast. Mm, I see.
And that's how you roller skate. Mm, now I know the secret to roller skating. The secret? But there is no secret. Oh, yes, there is. I always scream when I try to skate. You always laugh. If I laugh, I'm sure I'll manage to do this. That's not at all the case, Wolf. I'm laughing because I'm enjoying myself. Maybe if you tried to have some fun, you could actually learn how to skate. I told you there's a race. How am I supposed to have fun? Just give me back my skates. The wolf was about to start again, but there was something odd. <laughs> wolf, have you lost your mind? Just because you're laughing. Shh! I can't concentrate with you yapping! <laughs> the wolf once again dropped in from the top of the ramp. <laughs> now that was funny. Um, how about less laughing and more helping? I'm trying to help, but you don't listen to me. You first need to learn how to stand up. How stubborn are you? You're the one being stubborn. You are as stubborn as a mule. I don't want your help. Suit yourself. I'm out of here. See you never. You were not helpful at all anyway. Athlete was so upset about the things that the wolf said. She genuinely wanted to help him. Then she suddenly had a bright idea and went back to the farm. I'm glad she's gone. I'm sure I can learn this by myself. Ow, ow. I, uh, it hurts. Ow, ow. Ah. A while later, Athlete was back with her sister, Stylish. Both were on their roller skates. Athlete, I'm a little scared. It's normal. Your fear will fade away as you get used to these. Will Stylish be joining the race too? No. She's just learning how to roller skate. Now hold my hands and do this with your feet. Athlete, I'm scared. Hold me tight. I got you. Don't worry. In no time, Stylish managed to stand up on the roller skates. <laughs> Look, I can stand up. You're doing great, Stylish. She's laughing too. I bet that's why she isn't falling. Now try taking a couple of steps. I'm sure she'll fall in a second. You're so good at this, Stylish. After a few hours of practicing, Stylish learned how to roller skate. Oh, oh, mommy, mommy! <laughs> Athlete? Yes, Wolf? I, um, I, I was wondering if, uh, I mean, um, you could teach me how to roller skate? Sure, Wolf, but it's too late for the race now. You can't win it. I can join the race next year. For now, I just want to have fun. <laughs> then let's begin. Hold my hands. The wolf eventually agreed to accept help from Athlete. He couldn't join the race, but that day he had the time of his life. <laughs> A soothing melody resonated on the farm. Let's add this here. And perfect. It's just perfect. What's this musician? Do you have a concert in China? Hi there, Wolf. No, I'm composing a song for New Year. How come? New Year? But we've already celebrated that! Not that New Year, Wolf. I'm talking about the Chinese New Year. What do you mean? There are two New Year days? That's interesting. For example, I'm a dog. <laughs> do you think you're a dog? I think you got a little bit confused, musician. You're a goat, though. <laughs> 
Not like that. My Chinese zodiac sign is a dog. I was born in the year of the dog. Is that so? So what does it mean for you? That means I'm honest, reliable, and a little stubborn. <laughs> you are stubborn, all right? So what sign are you then? I don't know. Which one is the coolest, strongest, and most charismatic, and the most perfect? Come on, Wolf. The year you were born determines your sign. You could be a horse, a rat, a monkey, or... Dragon! Dragon! I'm a dragon! You can't just choose one. Let me see your ID. There! I'm definitely a dragon or a tiger. Hmm... That means you're a rooster. What? No! There's no way! I'm a tiger! Rooster! Dragon! Rooster! Let me at least be a snake! Rooster! Meh! I'm no 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 way! Oh boy, he has no idea about the Chinese signs. Ha! A rooster! Me! I'm a dragon! The wolf came up with a plan to prove he was not a rooster. <laughs> Wolf, you're amazing! What's that now? A marten was sneaking into our coop, but he took off when he saw you. You're a hero! You fought just like a rooster. I'm not a rooster! I'm a dragon! <laughs> Frustrated, the wolf left the coop. Wolf! Wolf! I've been looking all over for you! What's up? I hope you're now convinced I'm a dragon! Roosters are hardworking, handy and sly! Okay, then, if you're a dog, you know dogs run much faster than roosters, so let's race to see who the winner is! But Wolf, the signs don't work that way! Come on! The wolf got a head start and started running. Musician didn't want to race at first, but he gave in. He ran and ran and ran. Finally, he caught up with the wolf and even passed him. How, how could this be? He's... <laughs> and he picked up a rock and started climbing on a tree. I'll show you who's the fastest. <laughs> Wow, Wolf, you won! Of course I did, because I'm a dragon! But Wolf, you only won because you're as sly as a rooster. Oh, no, 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 no! I want to be a dragon! How can I be a dragon? Just forget about it. Let's have some Chinese food. It will cheer you up. Will it? I'm sure it will. While on their way, Wolf and Musician came across one of their friends. Wolf! Hey! What's up, Bear? Did you take my ID? Your ID? I have no idea what you mean. My ID card? Everyone at the farm says you have it. Um, well, <laughs> how should I put it? Um, I needed an ID to enter the Honey Festival. <laughs> 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 there you go. Here's your ID. It's fine. Hey, Wolf, you know what this means, right? It means that I can never ever go back to the Honey Festival. No, it means your zodiac sign is not a rooster. The bear is. <laughs> <laughs> you, you are a rooster. <laughs> yeah, I'm a rooster. So what? I'm hardworking and handy, and I would do anything for my friends. Well, okay then. You go on and be a rooster. I'm sure I'm a dragon. What do you think being a dragon means? 
I would wander the skies and have lots of gold. I would be the strongest one in the forest and also breath fire. You want to breathe fire? If you eat this, you can do just that. Just like a dragon. <laughs> oh, oh, really? <laughs> Mmm, it's mm, it's delicious, delicious. It burns, but it burns, it burns. Wow! I told you, you can now breathe fire. <laughs> this prank was a bit too much. Well, he had it coming. Ah, ah, water, water! I need water. The pepper was so hot that the wolf had to jump into the lake. Hot! 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 In the evening, while musician was composing, the wolf came along once again. How are you, Wolf? Are you feeling better? Uh, the the cows gave me some milk, so I'm better now. Uh, uh, anyway, anyway, I'm here to learn my sign. Here's my ID. Hmm, Wolf, you're a... Yes, I am. A... You're a rooster as well. What? Oh, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Wolf! Wolf! The wolf was sound asleep in his bed when someone knocked on his door. Wolf! Wolf! No, no! Dreamer? What are you doing here? You need to help, Wolf. The volcano is about to erupt. What? Volcano? Is there a volcano here? Of course there is. Don't you see that huge mountain? I do see it. I just didn't know it was a volcano. Look! Don't you see the smoke? Oh no! It's about to erupt! We must run away! The wolf started packing. Do you think sunscreen works for volcano burns? I don't think so, wolf. Uh, you're right. I should pack a burn ointment. Uh, thanks for waking me up. Otherwise, I'd be a wolf roast. I'm not here to run away, wolf. I think we should go to the mountain together. Are you kidding me? Do you want to get burned? I mean it, wolf. My sister inventor went to the mountain and I haven't heard from her for hours. Well, what can I do? Let the pigeon go check it out. I'm telling you, inventor is in danger. Didn't she help you out when you were stuck in a tree? She did. And when you fell into that giant hole? She helped again. What about when you bet you could look directly into the sun and then your vision got impaired? Who helped you? Inventor. And? Okay, okay, uh, I got it. Let me put on some burn treatment cream first. Okay, let's go then. To the mountain top. Oh, mommy, it's so hot. We are going to be roasted! I'll be a wolf roasted with cream! Stop whining, wolf! I tell you what, I'm sure Inventor has already found a way to stop Daniel from erupting, so she isn't in danger anymore! Let's go back home! Wolf! As they kept climbing, they were blinded by the smoke. Dreamer, stay close. Don't worry, I'm right here. I'm... Sister's life is in danger. 
Be careful! Before they realized what was going on, huge rocks started rolling down from the mountaintop. Help! Inventor! Save us! We're the ones that came here to save her! Just hold on! Another step, Dreamer jumped on him. What? What now? Yes, I do. Mm, do you think Inventor might have fallen into the lava? No, I don't think so. Oh, Inventor! My dear friend! She had such nice horns! I liked her so much! She was such a beautiful goat! The brightest of them all! Just keep your cool! Behind this rock we'll see a volcano that is about to erupt! Are you ready, Wolf? Hang on, Inventor! We'll find you! I even have green for birds! The wolf and Dreamer walked by the last rock. The wolf was taken aback by what he saw. Surprise! What's going on? We were gonna have dinner together, remember? I wanted to take this opportunity to play a prank on you. This time, you're the one getting pranked. Was it all just a prank? Indeed. Oh no! What about those rocks? <laughs> those weren't real rocks, Wolf. I made them out of cardboard. And the lava? It's just some food coloring that I got from Stylish. And I pour the coloring into the creek. And the noises! Inventor pressed a button on her phone and a sound came from giant speakers. And the smoke? It was an actual smoke, Wolf. Oh, Inventor, I'm so glad you're safe. <laughs> Thank you, Wolf. Look, the barbecue's ready. I'll get you back for this prank, Dreamer. Cool! I like pranks. Oh, whoa, whoa! It's so hot! I've burned my hands! <laughs> Don't worry, we have some burn ointment. Anyway, you saved Inventor. <laughs> 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 the sun was shining and the clouds were fluffy. In fact, it was a great day to invent something. Unfortunately, Inventor was not having any luck creating anything new that day. Help! Can anyone hear me? Help! Help! Everything that could go wrong had gone wrong. An inventor is stuck with her own invention. Help! Help me! Uh, inventor? Why are you shouting? Sorry, but I'm not in a good mood either. I see. What's this? A thief catching invention or something? No, I wanted to design a submarine in the shape of an octopus, but... You became the octopus's food? <laughs> Don't stand there. Do something. What's in it for me? What would you like? Eggs, of course. At least five. <laughs>
Wolf, you never do favors unless you get something out of it. But I have no choice. I guess it'll open if I hold it here. Uh, well, oh, out, 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 I, out. Wolf, no. Uh, stop, stop, uh, I will save you. If only I could hold it here. Uh, it's worse than before. What if I do this? Stop now. Help. Somebody help us! Wait, uh, it'll work now! Ah! Ouch! Did it work? I did it! I'm awesome! What's wrong with this machine? I don't know. It doesn't want to get into the water. Is this a land octopus? It doesn't walk on land either. Oh well, I have a key on my desk. Bring it please so we can turn the machine off. Okay. Wolf immediately went to the inventor's lab. Something peculiar caught his eye as he took the key from the desk. Inventor's shelves were filled with bizarre inventions. Language, huh? Learn any language in five minutes. Squirrel language. Ugh. Let them learn my language. Why should I learn theirs? Dream catcher. Record your dreams. Out of fur 3000. Get any color of fur you want. These are useless. After inspecting some of the events, Wolf found something that would be useful to him. That's it. Gravity boots! Wait for me, chickens! No one will be able to catch me! Wolf immediately put on the boots and, as expected, he rose a little off the ground. Straight to the hen house! But with every step, the wolf began to rise a little higher. Hey, hey, not so high! Uh, how do you stop these things? Uh, help! help! The wolf was all over the place until... Wolf! Inventor, help me! Help me! End up living on the moon? Maybe I land on Mars before Elon Musk does! Hold my hand, Wolf! I can't! Your hands are good by! Wolf! So, that's how the wolf's end will be. Soaring into the sunset. Goodbye, inventor. Farewell, land octopus. The octopus won't go in the water or walk on land. <laughs> Maybe. Inventor got an idea and immediately opened the control panel to do something. Some leaves? Some fabric, a little feather, I guess it will be done. Meanwhile, the wolf started to rise higher and higher in the sky. <laughs> it's, it's getting chilly up here. Hey, bird, would you care to help this poor wolf? <laughs> I think I freeze before I get to the moon. No, no! An airplane is coming! Ah! That was close! Oh no! Another plane is coming! No! Not a plane! Is it a bird? Is it a goat? Uh, uh, yikes! <coughs> it's an octopus! Hello, wolf! Oh, 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 inventor, you've come to save me. Of course, Wolf. I promise I will never ever touch your invention. Just save me. Get in. Oh, I, 
I never thought I would miss the prom this much. You'd miss more than that, but it'd be nice to go to Mars, especially being this high up already. I'll be the first Martian wolf. My dear inventor, you're my favorite goat. Well, you got me thinking after you said the octopus wouldn't go in the water or walk on land. I must admit, I thought of a flying octopus after your comment. I'm a great inventor too. Inventor and wolf went to Mars and became the first Martian goat and wolf. They planted their flags and went back to the farm. I don't want to know or see anything related to flying. <laughs> the octopus soared into the sky and then into space. Hey, you owe me five bags. Wolf, you never learn, do you? What? I helped you save yourself. You're not even listening to me, Wolf. I forgive you this time, but whatever you say, you'll still owe me. That day, Athlete was so focused on her job that she didn't pay attention to what was happening around her. My egg, my beautiful egg. Okay, I have my notes now. The medal's ready, and I will. Oops! Oops! Oh golly! What's this? My egg! My egg! <laughs> I'm so sorry, Wolf. I'm super busy now, but I'll make it up to you. Oh, are you now? You broke my beautiful egg. The rat and the ox have crossed. You say? That's good. You also see the tiger? Easy there. You owe me an egg. I'll give it to you tomorrow, Wolf. I'm really sorry, but it's not a good idea to sleep in the middle of the road on the most important day of the year. The most important day? Why am I just hearing about this? Today we're having the calendar races. Remember? What is that? No one told me anything about this. Let's go. I'll explain on the way. Do do explain. Where there's a race, there's a prize, and the prize should be mine. You're absolutely right. If you can cross the longest river, a year will be named after you. It'll be your year every twelve years. Wolf year? Wow, that's so cool. Besides, everyone will be giving you things for that year, celebrating you. Wolf loved the idea, so he decided to join the race. I want, I want to race as well. How can I participate? There are no requirements. Anyone can join. But the rat, ox, and tiger have already crossed. So hurry up! Only nine spots left. Okay, oh, okay then. I, I show them what I'm made of. <laughs> the wolf started running with all his might. He ran and ran and ran. Finally, as he got to the river, the wolf came across a familiar face. Artist. Hi there, wolf. What are you doing here? I'm painting. It's such a beautiful day. I I need to go across. If I win the race, a year will be named after me. <laughs> Excited, the wolf jumped into the water. Oh my! Oh my, mommy! Arches! Arches! Try standing up, wolf. Oh, okay, it's not that deep. <laughs> oh, I, I, I forgot. I don't know how to swim. So, what should I do? The sheep and the monkey got a raft together. That makes sense. I'll be back. But wolf, I'll be back. Luckily, the wolf found a raft. See. Can we cross now? But wolf, shoot yourself! I'm crossing that river. But wolf, I'm already gone. The wolf rode, but he couldn't get far because the raft had holes in it. Wolf, that raft 
belongs to Miss Woodpecker. There are holes in it. Oh, I didn't see that coming. The wolf was determined, so he tried to go across with the wooden stilts he made. I can do this! I can do this! I can't do this. Then he asked the dolphin for help. I can't do this. Then he tried balloons. I can do this! I can do this! No cheating, Wolf. Get down here. I just can't do this! Getting frustrated, the wolf made it to the shore. Wolf! Athlete just went across! The rabbit, dragon, snake and horse have crossed as well. I heard the sheep, monkey and rooster are also on their way. Sheep? Monkey? Rooster? I'll show them! I'm a wolf! <laughs> the wolf pondered. If he was to lose, so everyone else should. A few balloons. And, and a ribbon, and here two chairs, mm, not bad at all. <laughs> hello, hello monkey, where have you been? I'm at the finish line, but there's no one else here. Hurry up, hurry up, I'm by the big apple tree. After preparing the fake finish line, the wolf returned to the riverside. We can now take as long as we want, Artis. There's no need to hurry. What have you done this time, Wolf? <laughs> Believe me, I'm the greatest animal of all time! Every year should be my year! You really are! I am, uh, aren't I? Yes, look, I made paintings of you! Each one shows your determination! You're unyielding, hardworking, determined, and most importantly, you do your best! Oh, you, do you really think so? Um, I mean, uh, yes! and you spent the entire day with me. I want to give you half my sandwich as a thank you. Artist, <laughs> you are so kind. Wolf, what is that? What, maybe a cloud? But it's moving too fast. Maybe fog. It's coming right at us. Maybe a storm. It must be one angry storm. Wolf, it seems like they're after you. Wolf, how dare you fool us. Oh, mommy! They're the other competitors! Help! You're not going anywhere, wolf! Ah! On the next day, Artis dropped by the wolf's house to show him the pictures she painted. Here, the rat celebrates coming in first. In here, the horse and the snake are by the riverside. Look how happy the dog is. We really had fun, don't you think? Ah, uh, sure, sure, it was so much fun. You can tell by looking at me. And this is the celebration dinner we had after the ceremony. <laughs> I wanted to eat too. I brought some over for you, Wolf. Really? Yes, look. Don't they look delicious? <laughs> Mommy! <laughs> One day, the chicken was desperately looking for Genius. Genius, where are you? 
<laughs> That's so funny. Genius! Yes, chicken. What's up? Genius? What are you doing up there? I'm reading a book on the 101 funniest riddles. It's so funny. Would you like to hear a riddle? OK, go ahead. Three people were in the rain, but the hair of one of them never got wet. Why? Hmm, does he have an umbrella? No, the man is bald. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Yes, it's funny. I was going to ask you something. The dog has work to do today, so somebody needs to protect the eggs. Could you do it? Sure, my pleasure. There's a list here with the number of eggs for each chicken. OK. Today, the wolf tried twice to steal two eggs, so please be on the lookout for the wolf. Don't worry. Genius took his book and stood guard at the door of the hen house. As he kept watch, he heard voices coming from inside. Who's there? Um, uh, it's me, chicken. I'm back. Uh, I forgot my back. Genius turned on the light of the hen house and standing before him was the wolf. <laughs> Hi, Genius. Can I get those eggs back? Of course. Uh, I just came in to organise a little bit. Let me get the others too. You won't tell the dog, right? Hmm, I won't tell if you can answer my riddle correctly. What is it? It fills the entire room but takes up no space. What is this? Hmm, it fills the room. I give up. Light! I'd better call the dog. <laughs> Only if you can catch me! <laughs> Wolf! Oh, I, I, mom, mom, mommy, mommy! If you want me to let you go, you'll get one more chance. Uh, another riddle? Yes! What is it that you can't see as it grows? Is it what I can't see? Yes! Is it darkness? I bet it's darkness! Please tell me it's darkness! Yes! Yeah, you got it! You can go this time! Oh, ho ho! I almost didn't make it! The wolf left, but he immediately started scheming something else. I'm the wolf. No one can stop me from taking my eggs. The wolf approached the hen house silently. Ah, one is here, the other, huh? Here! Come on, one more! Come on, a little further to the left. Yes, a little more to the left. I, I can't reach! Give me what you've got and I'll hold them. Oh, got it! Thanks! Wolf! Duh. Don't tell the dog, okay? Please promise, I won't do it again. Then one! One more riddle! So what is it? What is it that you can hold with your left hand and not hold with your right? An egg? Wolf! Well, I don't know. Your right elbow. Time for me to escape. <laughs> Catch me if you can. Wolf, I can't chase you because I'm taking care of the eggs. Otherwise, I would have to call you for sure. Oh, stop. Let me get one, please. Impossible. I said no. OK, I'm leaving. If you don't want me to tell the dog, try to guess another one. Which invention allows you to see beyond walls? Dog? I... running... window? Exactly! Yes! Window! OK, you can go now. Wolf tried new ways to fill genius all day long. Oh! Look, a new book! Which word is written as wrong in the dictionary, Wolf? Sniff? <laughs> Sniff what? Wrong! <laughs> Do you get it?
Despite everything, the wolf kept trying. <laughs> Let's see if you can catch me this time. Wolf, what does not speak but answers? Yikes! Is it an echo? Yes, correct! But the wolf did not give up. Genius! Lunch is ready! Your mother is waiting for you! What cannot be eaten before lunch? What can't be beaten? Dinner! Come on! Even the chickens were more merciful than you are! Ask a riddle, give me an egg! If I answer correctly. Hmm, that's not a bad idea. Hooray! I never thought you would agree. Wolf, I'm gonna ask. Are you ready? I'm ready. What is yours that others use more than you? Um, it's mine, but others are using it. Mm. Wolf! I'm thinking! Wolf! Wait, 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 I'll get it! Come on, Wolf! Um, Wolf, Wolf, uh, wait a minute! Wolf! Wolf! My name! My name! Yes, Wolf, your name! You give me an egg! Here you go! Great! I'll eat it gladly! I put it in water and boil it well! What is it that you can carry water even though it has holes? Will you give me another egg if I answer correctly? Yes, I will! Cool! I get it right away. It holds water, but it has holes. I can give you a clue if you help me clean that glass. Whew. Life's so hard. Give me that bucket. Clean it well, clean it well. Uh, I, I'm, I, I'm cleaning really well. Even the sponge holes are filled with dirt. Holes. Uh, I've got it! The answer is a sponge! Yes, Wolf! I am awesome! Give me my egg now! Give me my egg now! Give me my egg now! Here you go! Hooray! Hello, genius! Thanks for looking after the hen house! Wolf, put those eggs down! Oh, mommy! But, but I won these eggs! Genius! I just wanted to have some fun! I'll show you how to have fun! <laughs> it was a very hectic day for Athlete Goat. She thought she was almost done, but she still hadn't done half of her tasks. Oof! This list is so long! I must get half a kilo of lemons! 20 strawberries? Flour from the bakery? Milk from cows? Eggs from chickens? Then go to the spice shop and get ingredients for the salad. Athlete, this long list is nothing. You can do it! Ready? Three, two, one! Athlete ran her errands as hmm? Who was that? Athlete Goat? Is she getting ready for a race again? Wolf was curious, so he followed Athlete. No matter how well Wolf tried to hide from Athlete, she noticed him. Oh! I was almost caught! What's up, Athlete? You seem to be in a hurry today! Oh! I'm, I'm a little busy! Stylish is organizing a party! It sounds like it's going to be a nice party tonight. Uh, won't you have me for a bit? Um, um, um. I, I need to go. Athlete returned home with the item she bought. 
Her sister, Stylish, was waiting for her. Where have you been? Oh, Wolf almost caught me. Ah, is he coming? No, no. I said I was in a hurry and then left. Come on, let's get started. The sisters went to the kitchen. Stylish was baking a beautiful fancy cake. After all, a party wouldn't be one without a cake. Athlete wanted to prepare something healthy yet delicious, so she made a lemon salad using fresh greens. Let the goats work. Wolf was at it again. He chucked some salad into his mouth. Ugh, it's too sour. Oh, what are you doing here, Wolf? Um, well, uh, I, I, I came to see if you needed help. Good thing I came because you can't even make a salad. This is too sour. It will be so if you don't toss it. Let me work. Leave. I have things to do. Okay, okay, I'm leaving. What a delicious salad you have. We were almost caught, Stylish. Yes, almost. What's wrong with them? All I wanted was a little taste. They don't know how to share. I'll teach them. As he walked away, Wolf saw the decorated cake from the other window. And he started drooling, of course. La 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 la. La 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 la. Wow! Look at that cake! Stylish! Did a good job baking it! I don't think anybody will notice if I take a little piece. Stylish noticed Wolf as he was trying to secretly get a piece. Wolf, you ruined my cake! Shoo! Leave at once! No! Shame on you! What could happen if I take a piece? You can't. The cake needs to be frozen anyway. What if I get some while it sits there? No, it needs to cool. This? No, it needs to warm. How about this one? Uh, no, I said no. Okay, okay, I'm leaving. Oh, I burnt my tongue too hot, mommy! <laughs> Wolf got hot pepper among the food instead and ran away. Finally, everything was finished. There was a lot of food on the table and a huge cake in the middle that would make anybody drool. What a feast! But Wolf got angry because he couldn't taste the food. They'll pay for this. They will see. <laughs> that goes there and this goes here. It's done. Wolf placed Inventor Goat's newest invention, exploding candies, inside all the food and hid behind a tree. Let's call Wolf now. OK, I'll call him now. Wolf! Wolf! What? Are they calling me? Hey you! Are you calling me? Yes! Come here! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Wolf! Wolf. 
Happy birthday, Wolf! Huh? Oh! Oh! Are these for me? Really? For me? My dearest friends! <laughs> of course! Despite your misbehavior, we had to celebrate your birthday. You are our only wolf! Am I right? I'm so handsome too! But also a little bit sour! And sometimes hot! Come on, enjoy now! The wolf was about to cut the cake, but remembered the exploding candles he had put into the cake. But it was too late! Well, I wanted to contribute to dinner, so I put a couple of surprises in them. Oh. You naughty wolf. Now you can't eat any of the food. No, don't worry. It's okay. I still eat it. I never waste food. Oh, wolf. <laughs> Genius Goat was spending a wonderful weekend sitting under a tree reading his books. One of the books was about animals with the best sense of smell. Elephants come in the third among animals with the best sense of smell in the world. The second best are sharks and the winner of the race for the best nose, bears. So the bear has the keenest sense of smell in the animal kingdom. I thought it would be dogs. I guess my sense of smell is not that good. But these flowers smell very good. <sighs> then something very strange happened. A gust of wind surrounded Genius. Is that a storm? How could it be a storm with such a beautiful weather? The... Ah, oh, help! What is that? Genius was about to pick up his book and run into the barn. Ah! 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 You... You... You are a pigeon! Yes, and you are a goat! What are you doing here? Pigeons did all this? Of course we are doing this. If we don't get what we demand, we'll call all the birds in the world. Just wait and see. Why? What happened? Why are you messing up this place? Our eggs were stolen. That's why. Your eggs were stolen? While Genius was trying to understand what is happening, the wolf was fleeing into the forest, holding a big basket. My dreams finally came true! Eggs! Eggs! I'll be eating eggs all week long. First, I boil them. Then, I'll make an omelette. You know, I have siblings among those eggs. Your siblings? Oh, I'm sorry. I also have six siblings. I wouldn't want anything bad happen to them. You seem like a nice goat. Would you help me find my siblings? Of course! Genius Goat and the Pigeon turned the whole farm upside down. They looked over the top of the trees, the riverside and even the mole nests underground. Everything was in vain. There weren't any pigeon eggs. <laughs> I want my siblings. <laughs> my dear siblings. If they were here, I would hug and smell and kiss them. 
Hmm, smelling. I guess I found it. Follow me. Where are we going? I have a great plan. Why did we come here, genius? This is Mr. Curious Bear. He's the animal with the best nose in the world. He can smell eggs even from far away. Really? Of course. Everybody thinks that dogs have a good smell, but we bears have a more powerful sense of smell. Yay! We'll be able to find my siblings. We'll find them, of course. Can you smell anything, sir? As a matter of fact, I can. Come with me. Mr. Curious Bear, sniffing around, Genius and the Pigeon followed behind. They crossed the farm, went deep into the forest, and finally... Stop! Don't! Hey! Where did you come from? Uh, and these are my eggs. I can do whatever I want. Your eggs? They belong to the pigeons. They shouldn't have left them in plain sight if they're as precious. Woof! Leave my sibling alone or I'll be calling my whole family. These are your siblings? How can these eggs be your siblings? Who are you fooling? These are my eggs and you can never take them from me! If so, Wolf, then the search is over. Now it's time for the rescue! Genius was so angry that he was ready to fight the wolf. Just when he was about to jump on him... <laughs> Mr. Curious Bear roared so loudly that the ground in the forest shook. Your voice is as powerful as your nose, Mr. Curious. Who? Huh? What is that? I'm becoming a mother! <laughs> Don't be silly, Wolf. Let the eggs go. Ouch! Stop! Okay, oh, okay. Take the eggs. Ow! Take the eggs. I'm sorry. Hey there! My siblings! Our rescue team has successfully completed this task. Thanks for everything, Mr. Curious Bear. Thank you very much, genius. Are you leaving? I wish you would stay. We would have done a lot more together. Let's first put the eggs back. When all my siblings are born, we will come together. Bye-bye, Pigeon. Come visit whenever you need honey together. Bye-bye, Pigeon. <sighs> Goodbye, Pigeons. Don't come again. Fortunately, I've escaped unharmed. Uh, but, but I'm starving. If you promise never to touch the Pigeon's eggs again, I'll give you some honey milk. Uh, uh, honey milk? <laughs> Yay! I, I, I promise. I hear it, but I don't believe it. <laughs> la 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 My beautiful You okay? Oh, my cake! Ooh, luckily I saved it. I almost dropped my beautiful cake. <laughs> oh, Sorry, Wolf. Hmm, what are you doing there? Today is Valentine's Day, so I'm making cards for my loved ones. Hmm? It seems you have a lot. Of course. My mother, my siblings, my friends. I need to make many cards. What about you? I'm going to eat this lovely and beautiful cake. Where did that cake come from? Your mother gave it to me. She baked it for Valentine's Day. 
Shouldn't you give her something in return? What can I give her? My old vest? No, no, no. I have a dirty pillow. I washed it last month. Not that one either. Come with me. Let's make cards together. For your mom? For all your loved ones. Mm, well, okay, no problem. But let me put my cake over there first. Come on, the markers are ready. La la la. This is for Elephant. He let me use his pool last week. And uh, this is for Mrs. Chicken. For all those wonderful eggs. <laughs> And this is for Police Officer Lion, who tried so hard to find my lost watch. Hi, artist. I'm here to help you deliver the card. Hello, Elephant. Thank you so much. It'll be really difficult for me to distribute them all by myself. Here, you can take them under the tree. We'll hand out the rest when they're done. Come on, artist! We have so much to do! You need... Pass the pink marker. Uh, give me a minute, I'm almost done! Here, but give it back. I just realized I forgot to color something. Tra-la-la! -la. My cards are ready! Yours are so beautiful, artist! And yours are so colorful! The important thing is to remember our loved ones. Oh, oh my goodness! Where is it? Where? What? Where? Help! My wonderful and delicious cake is not there, artist! Wait a minute. Hmm, I think, I think I know where it is. Where? Tell me, did you eat it? Wolf, we were together all day long. How could I eat it? Elephant must have thought it was a gift and probably delivered it by mistake. Ugh, that mischievous elephant! I bet he ate it! <laughs> While we hand out our gifts, we can ask everyone. Let's go see Elephant first. Happy Valentine's Day, Elephant! I made this for you, Elephant! Ooh. Oh, Wolf, I'm very surprised. Thanks a lot. Did you eat my cake? Cake? No, I didn't. Hmm. I thought it was a gift. And I gave it to... Lion, maybe? Lion? Zebra? Or maybe Miss Hedgehog. Come on! Don't you remember? I'm sorry, I can't remember. <laughs> my, my beautiful cake! <laughs> Come on, Wolf. We'll find your cake. Don't be sad. Happy Valentine's Day, Zebra! We made this for you! Do you have my cake? <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, chickens! We made this for you! Happy Valentine's Day, chickens! Do you have my cake? Happy Valentine's Day, squirrels! These are for you! Did you eat my cake? We visited the entire farm! 
everyone was so happy. They were really happy to see us, but I still don't have my cake. The wolf pretended to smile, but deep down inside he was sad because his cake was still missing. At that moment, Elephant showed up with a basket in his hand. Hello again. Wolf, I found your cake. My delicious cake! Yippee! Give it to me! No, no. You got it wrong. I remember whom I gave it to. I gave it to Monkey, and he and his brother ate it all. No! 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 <laughs> no! <laughs> Don't be sad. Everyone sent you a gift. Eggs from the chickens, milk from the cows, nuts from the squirrels, and a surprise from me. Happy Valentine's Day, Wolf! A big cake and lots of food! Yippee! Happy Valentine's Day! Slow down, Wolf! You're going to fall! Oh! Ah! Ah. Got it! Don't be afraid! I got it! You scared us there! <laughs> Our hearts almost stopped. <laughs> <laughs> on a sunny morning on the farm, the rooster gets ready to crow. He took a deep breath and, as he was about to crow... <coughs> Suddenly, a terrible raspy sound surrounded the farm. For a moment, the rooster... Then, the same voice echoed across the whole farm. <coughs> Oh, what's that? An earthquake? Does somebody need help? <coughs> uh, what's that sound? When musician heard that unpleasant sound, he got goosebumps and grinded his teeth. He wanted to stuff his ears with hay to avoid hearing that sound. <coughs> Ah, my gosh, my ears hurt. Make it stop. Musician finally found the place where the sound was coming from. So he quickly opened the barn door and went in. The ladybug is also trapped inside. Who can bear this terrible voice? Don't you worry, ladybug. I'll settle this now. Hello, musician. Hello, what are you doing? Or should I say, what are you trying to do? I'm trying to sing. Like, um... Like someone stepped on the cat's tail. Uh, no, no. More like, uh... Like a fly in a cold weather. No, no. Like a tiger that swallowed a hedgehog. No, like birds. Like birds? Yeah, their voices are beautiful. Yeah, they're very nice, but... I know, my voice is not that nice. <laughs> Stop, don't cry, I didn't mean that. <laughs> stop, stop, please don't cry. Moo! <laughs> 
The cow's terrible, out-of-tune voice spread through the farm and spread and spread. It wasn't just the farm, but even the animals in the forest could hear it too. What's going on? Where am I? Uh, no, no, I didn't steal it. Somebody, somebody silence that noise. I think it's coming from the farm. Is someone going into the coop and scaring the chickens? Hey, I'm the only one who can scare the chickens. You'll see now. Stop crying. I can help you. For real? Yes. I'll tell you the secret of good singing. The secret? Secret? So there's a secret. It's time for a wolf to come up with a plan. If I can get my hands on a secret, I'll win all the contests, medals, glory, fame and gold. I can eat eggs every day. <laughs> The cow, the cow shouldn't hear it. The secret, the secret will be mine. <laughs> as soon as the cow was silent, another out of tune voice surrounded the farm. Oh! <laughs> oh, one ends and another begins. What's wrong, Wolf? What's wrong with you? I want to think beautifully, but my voice is terrible. <laughs> what am I going to do? Please help me. <laughs> oh, we were talking about this. Musician was trying to teach me the secret of good singing. Share, share the secret with me too. Please, please, please let me think beautifully like... Um, like birds? I was going to say like whales, but birds will do. OK, I'll teach you too. Come on in, sit over there. Both the wolf and the cow were very excited. Are you ready? We, we, we are! Come on, spit it out! We're ready! Are you ready? We are! The secret of beautiful singing is... As Musician was about to say it, the wolf took out earplugs from his pocket and plugged the cow's ears. Hey, I couldn't hear it. What did he say? Come on, say it! The secret to beautiful singing is... Just as the Musician was about to say it... Hey, I couldn't hear it again. Come on, tell me, tell me. You're taking your time. You should have said it by now. But if you do it like that, the cow won't hear. Okay, then just tell me. My potential is... <laughs> <laughs> Musician then realised the wolf's selfish plans, so he also came up with one. Wolf, if you want, I can whisper the secret formula in your ear. Yes, yes, sure. This way, I'll be the only one to hear it. If you want to sing well... Yes? You should eat some of the peppers out in the garden. Is that all? I'll eat a bunch of peppers at once, then there will be money, prices and eggs! <laughs> will you tell me, too? Of course, the only way to sing beautifully is to have fun while singing and not think that your voice is awful. Having fun and not thinking the worst? Of course! There's no better voice than a happy and confident voice. Is it really just this? Just that. If you enjoy it, everyone will. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you very much. So hot! So hot! 
I don't want. I don't want a nice voice. Give me water. 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 Wolf was walking, holding a bouquet of flowers that blocked his view. Boom! He bumped into Genius. Genius! Oh, Wolf, you almost spoiled everything. Genius got up and continued running in circles around Wolf. So focused that he didn't even hear what Wolf said. Hey, genius! Arted! Hey, genius! Can I have breakfast at second time if we go back to the moment the day started? Genius stopped and pondered. Why not? I guess you can. Wait for me. I have an idea. Wolf and Genius skated together. <laughs> Is it working? I don't think so, Wolf. I don't see any difference. Uh, I cannot go any faster than this. Ah! Oh, ouch! Oh no! It won't be like this. Should we skate backwards? After all, we want to go back. Yes, that makes sense. So Wolf and Genius tried skating backwards, but nothing had changed. Ugh, I won't be able to have breakfast again, will I? Wolf, I just thought of something. Wolf and Genius went to the top of a hill. They stood next to a glowing ball. What are we doing now? One scientist said that if you travel at light speed, you can travel in time. Well, we'll go to the great lengths just to have breakfast again. I guess it's worth a try. Genius and Wolf got on. First, everything went well. Then. Time travel hurts a lot. Are you sure there's no other way? I don't know, Wolf. I just want to go back. Ugh, we'd better research a little bit. So Wolf and Genius started reading everything about time travel. And finally... I found it! I found it! What is it? How is it done? We need to get into the wormhole. What? Are you sure? Yes! Yes, look! It really says so. Let's try!
Wolf and Genius found a wormhole in the garden after searching long. Ugh, how do we get into this? It's too small! I don't know, but we have to do our best. Genius tried sticking his hoof inside. Wolf pushed him from behind. Then, the goat's arm went into the hole. Is it working? Uh, I don't know. Only my arm went in. Push a little more. Uh, oh, oh. Uh, uh, it's not working, Wolf. The wormhole didn't work either. Shall we ask Inventor? I bet she has a machine. No, no way. We can't ask her. What will we do then? Get me out of here first. Wolf got Genius out. He gave up on the idea of having breakfast again, so he gathered some flowers and went on his way. He then got stuck on something. Genius! Wolf! What are you doing? If I focused enough on something, time would slow down. I thought I could slow down first and then go back. Great idea! You are brilliant! Let me try to! Wolf and Genius sat quietly. Okay, has anything slowed down? No, just focus a little more. Look, I missed lunch while dreaming of a second breakfast. Ah, oh, it didn't work either. I'll never be able to go back to the start of the day. Right, we won't be able to have a second breakfast. Who cares about breakfast, Wolf? Oh, don't say that. And why would you want to go back to this morning anyway? Um, I, this morning... I did something very bad. Didn't you have breakfast? If only that would be the problem. My inventor had come. And? She asked me a question. Didn't you know the answer? No, that's not it. It was a simple question. Then what's the problem? I mocked inventor because she didn't know the answer to a simple question. That's, that's the problem? Apologize and promise you won't do it again. Now help me gather flowers. Stylish is waiting. Okay, I'll help. Genius picked some flowers. Just as he was about to give them to Wolf, he saw Inventor standing before him. Hi guys, do you need help? Come on, Genius. This is easier than time traveling. Um. I want to apologize. I shouldn't have made fun of you this morning. Oh, are these flowers for me? Thank you very much, brother. Do you forgive me? Of course. Everything is fine, so... Not everything. I'm still waiting for my second breakfast. I don't know about breakfast, but I'm sure Stylus organized a great party. We'll get something to eat there. Yay! I'm so stylish! Help! Wolf is running in the forest in a panicky way. Stylish! Ouch! Ouch! What's the matter, Wolf? Uh, um, I... apples! Uh, trees! <sighs> I don't understand, Wolf. What happened? Come, come with me! Wolf grabbed Stylish by the arm and led her to the apple orchard because he was so panicked that he couldn't utter the words. Oh no! See? I'm talking about this! It turns out that there wasn't one single apple in the apple orchard. What happened to the apples? I don't know, but beginning, what? At first the apples, then the bananas, and, and then the eggs disappeared without my eggs. Stop it, Wolf. Stay calm. Let's figure out what happened. Stylish and Wolf walked through the fruit garden. They asked everyone they came across. But nobody knew anything until... Wolf! Stylish! Help me! Who 
are you? Have we met? Princess, princess. Princess, with these clothes. Shh, Wolf, don't you see? She's Snow White. Stylish, I need your help. Sure, what happened, princess? The evil queen stole all my clothes. Whenever I tried to get clothes, she hurled stones from the tower. She gathered all the apples using ma- Um, which stuff? <laughs> Come on, Wolf. Something will happen to me again, but okay, okay. Snow White, Stylish and Wolf made their way to the castle, just as Snow White had said. The Queen was waiting in the tower and the guards guarded her belongings. Let me go first. Okay, okay, we are behind you. A stone is heading your way. All right, be careful. Now left, an apple is coming. Apple? Ah, oh, I got it. Stylish picked up a few apples while avoiding the stones and finally got close enough to the guards. Excuse me, can I get back Snow White's clothes? No, I can't do that. Those are the Queen's orders. But they are Snow White. I'm sorry. What if I give you three apples? You know what? We're hungry. The Queen hasn't fed us in days. Okay then, I'll give you these apples if you give me the clothes. For three apples? I can only give you one pair of pants. Hmm, alright. I'm gonna go gather more apples. Stylish took the pants and went back to Snow White and explained what had happened. So all we need to do is pick more apples? Uh, I can do that. Come on then. Wolf, Snow White and Stylish tried to approach the tower together. But it was harder than it seemed. Picking apples while avoiding stones was exhausting. To the right, Snow White. Ah, be careful. Wolf, look behind. Oh, uh, it, it, it almost hit my head. Ouch! Mom! One more apple! I'm taking these to the guard. I suppose he'll give us a t-shirt for two apples. Oh! Why do all the stones come in my direction? Pastor Wolf, four, five, six, seven. I can get my summer dress with seven apples. Mommy! Ah, I got an apple. Ugh, no, this is a stone too. Princess, I got a t-shirt. Okay, now I'm going to get my dress. Wolf, be careful, on the left. Ouch, it was coming straight for my tail. My beautiful tail. Come on, focus, you haven't caught an apple yet. Stylish! Do you think Snow White will give us a few apples after collecting all the clothes? I don't know, Wolf. We collect the apples to take the clothes back. Maybe there will be no apples left. Ooh! Lots of apples! One apple! Uh, two apples! Whee! Ooh. Oh! I'm stunned! What is that? Grok! Ugh! She turned Wolf into a frog! Don't worry, he will return to normal in 3 to 5 seconds. Wolf! Oh, Mommy! What was that? Suddenly, I felt like eating flies! Ugh, disgusting! Snow White, Wolf and Stylish spent all day picking up apples and avoiding the evil queen's spells and stones. Then, piece by piece, they took back Snow White's clothes. Thank you very much, friends. I couldn't have done it without you. 
Now you look like a real princess. And you don't look like a frog anymore. Oh, <laughs> she kissed me. Thank you so much for everything. I wish I could return the favor. Eh, in fact, Wolf has been craving apples all day. Are there any apples left that he can have? Apples? But we gave all the apples to the guards. Hey, I have a better idea. Let's go to the palace. To the palace? To the to the palace? N now? But 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 my outfit is not suitable. Never mind that, Wolf. It doesn't matter. Think about the delicious food we'll eat. <laughs> <laughs> The sun disappeared behind grey clouds, and rain poured heavily. Dreamer looked outside the window, bored. He took a box out of the closet and sat on the floor to spread the old pictures. Baby. I squeezed Genius nose here. We took this one on my mother's birthday. What a beautiful cake that was. And this? I don't remember. What's up, Dreamer? When did we take this photo? I don't remember. Let me see. Hmm. I wish I didn't remember that day. Oh, how scared we were. You gave us a big scare. Oh, why? I never want to scare you. Don't be upset, Dreamer. You were much younger then. You didn't do it on purpose. You got lost in the forest and everyone in the farm was looking for you. Hours later, we found you sleeping under a tree. This photo is from that day. I don't remember at all. I wish I could. Then, Squirrel appeared in the corner of the windowsill. Me too! Did you forget your childhood memories? Someone's knocking on the door. Let me go check. No, no! I forgot where I put my food. I always forget. Did someone say food? Wolf, is that you? Welcome! Thank you. You were talking about food. Where, when, do you have some for me? Ah, oh, my friend, there's no food. I keep forgetting where I keep my food, and that's a problem. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> all, all my food is hidden in my stomach. <laughs> I never forget its place. <laughs> <laughs> It's no joke, Wolf. I'm really upset because I have a difficult time in the winter. Don't worry, Squirrel. I'll help you remember where you hide the food. How? With this. We'll take pictures of the places you hide your food. Ah, oh, brilliant idea. Thank you, my friend. Mwah. Excellent! That means you'll gather food and take photos. This will be easier than I thought. Come on, let's go! Squirrel and Dreamer went into the forest.
Lulu gathered enough food for the entire winter. Dreamer took photographs of each hiding place. We should have known better. All our efforts were in vain. I gathered so much food, but now I won't have any. We'll take some pictures over the weekend. I need to buy a new film for my camera. What happened? Why are you upset? Squirrel couldn't remember where she hid the food, so we went to the forest today to take pictures of her hiding places, pictures we took and ran away. How nice! What? Nice? What are you saying, genius? I mean, it's not nice that Wolf stole the pictures, but he'll be surprised when he digs out the food because he doesn't eat hazelnuts. It's also nice that Squirrel forgets where she buries her food because those nuts become new trees in the forest. Wow! All those trees are there because squirrels forgot their buried hazelnuts. Oh! I didn't even realise that I was doing something good. <laughs> wow! It means it's nice to forget sometimes. Oh my goodness! I was supposed to pick up my brother at school. Look! I even forgot that! Bye! See you later, squirrel! Bye-bye! I wonder what Wolf will do when he digs out everything from each hiding place. He'll probably be frustrated and confused. <laughs> Suckers! <laughs> Dreamer's plan worked out fine for me. <laughs> I'll eat everything. <laughs> While they search for food all winter long. <laughs> Hmm, what is this? Hazelnut and... Uh, hazelnut again? Yuck! But, but wolves don't eat hazelnuts! All that work for nothing! <laughs> I was food! Where's the meat? Meatballs, pasta, rice, eggs! <laughs> On a beautiful summer day, Athlete Goat got up early as usual, washed her face and brushed her teeth. She prepared a delicious breakfast. While she was eating, there was a knock at the door. Who is it? It's 
it's me, Rooster. Although Rooster woke up very early to crow, it was not normal for him to knock on someone's door at that time. Athlete opened the door. Ah, oh, hello, Rooster. Come in, let's have breakfast. I'm very upset, Athlete, very. What's wrong? Oh, the silly wolf, he's done it again. Yesterday, Wolf and I agreed to go fishing. We unloaded our stuff from the car. Wolf went back to the car to get the fishing gear, but didn't come back. When I went to check on him, there was no sign of him or the car. I thought he was playing a prank on me, but he never came back. I left everything behind and ran all the way here. I was out of breath. I needed to rest. I know you wake up early, so that's why I came to see you. Don't worry. You can come any time. As for the wolf, you know he loves to play pranks. He probably hit the car somewhere and had a good laugh at your expense. It's not funny, though. I'll never go anywhere with him. There was a knock on the door. It was Bad Wolf. Rooster ran towards the door angrily, but Athlete stopped him. Oh, be patient, Brother Rooster. Let's teach him a lesson. Now is our time. It's our time to make jokes now. Hide behind the sofa quickly. Uh, athlete, help me! Uh, hide me! What's wrong, Wolf? Calm down! Uh, yeah, well, uh, I... well, uh, I did something! What did you do? Uh, well, uh, I went fishing with Rooster! And? Well, fishing is boring! Holding the rod, waiting for the fish to get the bait! R Rooster seemed to be having lots of fun! I... I didn't want to stick around. And? I had planned on returning within an hour or two after filling up the bucket with fish. A while later, I realized that the fishing gear was still in the car. So how I can fish? I went back to the car, but there was no rooster around. Oh, I see. So where's the rooster? I don't know. I looked everywhere, but couldn't find him. All the chickens know that we went fishing together. If I don't find Rooster, they'll think I've done something to him. Athlete winked at the rooster, hiding behind the sofa. She had a plan in mind. Hmm. Maybe you did something to him. And you're saying this to cover up your mischief. I swear I didn't do anything. He, he was all right when I left. <laughs> I, I don't know, maybe he fell into the water. Maybe maybe the wind blew him away or a or, or lake monster swallowed him. <laughs> I, I mean, Rooster was my friend. What, what should I do now? Maybe, maybe I should hide. You cannot always hide, Wolf. We need to think of a solution. Yes, yes. Can you think of something, please? Please. I got it, I got it. You'll take the rooster's place until he returns. Me? Uh, me? A rooster? How can I be a rooster? You'll see. You'll be a great rooster. Athlete devised her plan. She made Wolf overwork in the farm until he was bone tired. Thank you.
be a rooster. But this one. There you go. Walk like a rooster. Crow loudly. <coughs> Flap your wings. Oh, you're doing a great job. Don't forget to wake everyone up every morning. Okay, okay, I'll do it. The wolf woke up early in the morning. Perched on the fence, he began to crow like a rooster. You've done your duty, but it's not enough to wake them up. Now, you must protect the chickens from danger. I'll write a list with your tasks. Wolf and Athlete started to work. You need to protect chickens from jackals? Foxes, margins, and... Wolves! I know, I know, wolves! Get down! Get up! Jump! Run! Get down! <laughs> I, I, I wish Rooster was here. I wouldn't play pranks on him anymore. I, I would take care of him. <laughs> Do you think he learnt his lesson? <laughs> I think so. cock a doodle do Rooster! Dear Rooster, my wonderful friend! It was the last day to submit a video to the Jungle Song Contest. Gazelle and Musician were well prepared for the contest. I'm so excited, Musician. So am I. We're far from the farm, so we don't have to worry about noises. We're going to get a flawless recording and have a great song. That's if Wolf ever brings our instruments. Yes, where are they? Wolf and Squirrel were participants in the contest. However, the Wolf was not interested in music. He just wanted the prize. Ah, oh, here they are. Hello, rookies! The winners of the contest have arrived. You never know, Wolf. We are well prepared. We worked so hard, harder than you. May the best man win. Give me the case. I'll take my violin. Here. Musician and Gazelle excitedly opened the case. But they were surprised to see it was empty. Wolf, this case is empty. <laughs> you should have seen your faces when you opened the case. <laughs> Look at your faces. Where is my violin, Wolf? You entrust your instruments to your strongest opponent. You are so gullible. You said I can carry it. Hold on, hold on. Is the case empty? Yes. Is it completely empty? Yes! Wolf! Our instruments were in that case too! Huh? Was that flute mine? Yes! And the drum? Was that yours? Oh! Wolf! You drive me mad! Well, um, uh, how, how could I know? Why, why did you put them in the same case? So now it's my fault? Musician, what are we going to do now? We don't have enough time to go back to the farm. We won't be able to make the video. Oh, Wolf, we worked so hard. Everyone was angry with Wolf, yet sad because they couldn't play the song they had been rehearsing for months. Musician was getting irritated by the water droplets falling from a branch onto the case. The squirrel was stomping. 
And the sulking wolf was tapping his fingers on a stone. They were all annoyed. Hey! What? Don't stop, wolf. Continue. You too, gazelle, stomp. Like this? Yes, yes. Listen to the sound of the water. What are we doing now? Listen, music is everywhere. We may not have our instruments, but everything around us can create music. Is he crazy? I'm not sure. Come with me. All four of them spread in the forest. Musicians started gathering leaves. Are you crazy? You are gathering leaves as an instrument. Wolf, take the leaf between your two hands. Like this? Yes, now blow it. More slowly, like a whistle. Hey, it sounds like the sound of my flute. Try it with this leaf. Oh, this is beautiful. Let me try this. Okay, wolf. Practice with different leaves. Let's keep looking for new instruments. Squirrel, gazelle and musician continued to wander in the forest. Suddenly, Squirrel disappeared. Hey, where is Squirrel? She was just behind me. I hear something. I think she is behind that tree. What? When I'm stressed, I have to eat. Walnut calms me down. Walnut, you're a genius, squirrel. Am I? You are. Drill holes in those walnuts and fill them with pebbles and tie them. Have you ever eaten walnuts before? You won't be able to eat much like that. <laughs> Do what I say, Squirrel. We'll find an instrument for Gazelle now. Musician, are you sure that you can find me an instrument? You may have given a flute to Wolf. But I can only play the violin. How do we find violins in the forest? Don't worry, I saw a pumpkin over there. I say violin, you say pumpkin. Follow me. Musician and gazelle went into the pumpkin field and started to shake all the pumpkins. They look ripe. We are looking for something with a deeper sound. How about this? Yes, that's fine. Now find a long stick and go to the recording area. I'm going to find my own instrument. After walking around for a while, musician came to a reed bed covered with tall grass. This is exactly what I'm looking for. Gazelle, Wolf and Squirrel were waiting for Musician in the recording area. I think Musician is crazy. He told me to take these walnuts. Hey, trust me. I also didn't know these leaves could work as flutes. The leaves may work as a flute, but how can this pumpkin be a violin? That's a little complicated. Musician tied the walnuts to the squirrel's feet. He then cut the pumpkin in half and stretched a few strings from the wolf's tail. Then he lined up the reeds he collected side by side, according to their length. Are you ready? Do you think it will work? Let's give it a try! Hey, that 
said was great! We will win the contest for sure! What are you waiting for? Let's record! It was a cold day. Gusts of wind sounded like howls. So it woke Dreamer from a nightmare he was having. Oh! Huh? Phew! It was just a nightmare. Dreamer tried to go back to sleep, but couldn't. He was tossing and turning, so he started counting sheep. That didn't help either. Hey Dreamer, are you awake? Am I having a nightmare again? Who's there? Dreamer pulled the sheet over his head. But he heard the voice again. He then recognised the voice. Psst, Dreamer! Wolf, what are you doing here? I'm sleepless. I could not sleep. I turned left. I turned to the right. But the wind, the wind blowing kept me up. Or did you have a nightmare too? Yes, it was terrible. C can I sleep with you? Come, lie on that pillow. I saw a ladybug in my dream. She was stealing my dreams. That thief, ladybug. Then the wind swept the ladybug and me. Why are you afraid? First of all, I'm not afraid of anything. I know you're not afraid of anything, so tell me about your nightmare. What was it about? You know, I would never do it in real life, but I stole an egg in my dream, so all the chickens were chasing me. How fast I ran! <laughs> the chickens caught up to me and started flying! Let's not think about them. Let's think about good things and go to sleep. Such as what? Let's pretend we're in a hot air balloon And the landscape below us is beautiful. The sun is just setting. We have a basket of toys in the colorful hot air balloon. And we're throwing toys at the kids watching us from below. Close your eyes. Listen to the joyful children. But this dream sounds more like a little adventure. Didn't you like it? Okay, it's your turn then. Okay, okay, close your eyes and put on your swimsuit. There is a pool. Oh, I love swimming. There is no water in this pool. Why? So why am I in my swimsuit? This pool is an egg pool. It is full of eggs. Eggs? Yes, eggs. Colorful eggs? No, just regular eggs. Why are there eggs in the pool? They didn't fit in the basket, so they filled the pool. What are the eggs for? Make pancakes, omelettes, fried eggs, cakes and, and pastries. Stop! You sound hungry. I never get enough. Dreamer went to the kitchen and prepared a sandwich for the wolf. Bon appetit, but your dream was boring. Mm -hmm. 
not not at all. No, no hot air balloons or toys or anything like that. My dream was so beautiful, and it came true. Oh, come on. Let's not dream together. Dreamer continued dreaming that he was floating above the beautiful landscape. In the hot air balloon, Wolf was in the egg pool again. Oh, mommy! Dreamer! Dreamer! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! What now? There is a chicken again that came and sat in the pool! Uh, I was in the best part of my dream. Dreamer went back to sleep. Wolf couldn't sleep no matter how hard he tried. Dreamer, Dreamer, let me lie next to you. <laughs> Don't wait. Okay, okay. It is clear that you won't let me sleep tonight. What are we going to do? Don't fall asleep until I go to sleep. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm waiting. There's no way I can fall asleep with your snoring. As soon as Dreamer's eyes closed, he continued his journey in the hot air balloon. Crossing mountains, seas and beautiful countries. But he got startled. With Wolf snoring. As he dreamed, the balloon's burner had broken. Oh, Wolf! Please stop that snoring. I must get rid of you. The wolf continued sleeping, not hearing a word Dreamer had said. Dreamer was very tired, but finally figured out how to get rid of the wolf. <laughs> I've got it. I need to get some sleep. As soon as Dreamer lay on his bed, he fell asleep. And Wolf... Mommy! Help! My nightmare came true! <laughs> It was another beautiful day on the farm. Everyone was happily working, or playing games, or chatting. Only Inventor was unhappy as she leafed magazines. I don't want to do anything. She got startled by loud laughter coming from the window. <laughs> Someone was having a good time that day, unlike... Who is having that much fun? Inventor saw a friend of him. Hey, what are you doing there? Why are you so happy? I'm playing a game. What are you doing there? It's a beautiful day. Join me. Inventor was happy with the invitation. Wait, I'll... Inventor joined... I'm 
so glad you're here. I was so... Morning. Look at this cool game I'm playing. What kind of game is it? Look here. A move from branch to the next, and from tree to tree. He was having a lot of fun. But in winter... I can't do these things. Of course you can. Winter was upset because no matter how hard she tried, she couldn't do it. Then she got an idea. Wait for me, monkey. I'll be right back. She drew some plans in her workshop, took her screwdriver and hammer and... Here I am. Inventor, where have you been? I was about to leave. What are those? My new arms, look! <laughs> Wanna try something else? What's on your mind? Inventor and Monkey joined hands and played jokes on everyone. <laughs> they laughed and as they made their way home, Cross Wolf resting under a tree. Let's play a joke on him. Don't! It's better to stay away from him. You don't know him. If you do something to him, he'll get back at you. Oh, okay. A bad joke can turn ugly. But if we tie a can to his tail like this... Or if we tie his feet together... If we throw a beehive at him... If we burst a balloon close to his ear... The wolf heard Monkey and Inventor laughing and followed them stealthily to watch what they would do. What are they doing? Mmm, look at this! Long arms, huh? Mmm, what are they doing with these long arms? At that moment, the sheep and the dog were eating their food. Inventor used her long arm invention and switched their food. So Inventor is playing jokes, huh? In the evening, Inventor and Monkey went to their respective homes. And in the morning... Oh no! Help me neighbours! What is it? Somebody stole my eggs! The eggs? Have you really looked around? I looked, but oh, I see now. Did you get my eggs? No, I didn't. Why would I do that? Aren't those the tracks of your toy? Inventor looked at the tracks. Indeed, they were the toy's tracks. But she knew that she hadn't stolen the eggs. Yes, the tracks are from my toy, but I didn't do it. Have you ever seen me taking anything without asking? 
I haven't, but how do you explain the stripes? Inventor was upset because the chick she had something to do with the disappearance of her eggs. Monkey went to Inventor's and was surprised to see her. What happened to you, Inventor? The chicken's eggs have disappeared. Why are you so sad? We can collect some eggs and give them to the chicken. Come on, don't be sad. But she thinks I have them. Earlier she saw marks from my toy on the wall. But your toy is in the workshop. You're right. Let's go and check it out. They ran to the workshop. The toy was standing where it was. Look, maybe someone got it. Hey, I know this trail. Wolf! Wolf took the eggs, using Inventor's long arms without anyone seeing him. Here he is. What is he doing? Oh no, he's going to break the eggs. Hmm, I'd better put some more oil. Okay. We must save them, quickly. What a sturdy egg. It's hard to break. Let me hit a little harder. <laughs> you wicked wolf, you deserve this. <laughs> Um, unbreakable eggs! Oh no! <laughs> Artist woke up in a cheerful mood. It was a great day for painting. She opened her paint toolkit, ready to start painting. But she was shocked at the sight. My oil pants! Where's my midnight blue paints? Artist rummaged in all the boxes looking for her blue paints. Dark blue? Not here. Light blue? Nope. Navy blue? What about navy blue? All my blue oil paints are gone! How can this be? Artist slid down against the wall by the window and started crying. <laughs> my blue paints! <laughs> 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 I'm I'm cracking up here. <laughs> what? Is someone laughing? <laughs> what? Is someone crying? Artist, why are you crying? My blue paints are gone. Wolf, why are you laughing? I played a prank. I dyed all the sheep blue. You should see them. Did you paint them blue? With what paints? With the blue paint I found by the window. <laughs> My paints. I would have made beautiful painting using color blue. I would have painted bright stars and a beautiful full moon lighting up the night sky. Stop crying! I did so we could have a good laugh! They look so funny! Have you ever seen a blue sheep? Wolf! 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 Are you responsible for this? Meh! <laughs> oh wow! Aren't they cute? <laughs> Wolf! Uh, no officer, it wasn't me! Uh, what would I do with paints? Meh! <laughs> Meh! Oh, my beautiful paint. My beautiful light blue. So it's your paint? You'd better come with me, artist. You have some explaining to do. All the sheep are shades of blue. But I, I didn't do it. I'm innocent. Say something, Wolf. Tell them you did it. Come on. We'll soon find out who did it. Meh. <laughs> Meh. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is the dark blue sheep. <laughs> what did you do, Wolf? Who, me? You got me into trouble. I wish she had loved a little too. I got her into trouble. Was I wrong to do so? The blue sheep prank wasn't as funny anymore. 
Wolf was now unhappy because he had taken his friend's paints without permission. On top of that, he didn't admit to the police that he had played the prank. I thought it was a good joke. I never imagined this would happen. I should go and talk to the officer duck. I hope they forgive me. Wolf was going to the police to confess his crime when he got an idea. Hey, that's a great idea. I bet they'll forgive me too. The wolf started to carry all the sheep back to the pen. Oh, wait, uh, wait, wait, stop. <coughs> Don't run away! I won't do anything! Wait a minute! Artist and the police duck, who watched all this from afar, were confused. What is he doing? I don't get what he's doing. It seems he's carrying them all to the water. Uh, uh, I'm I'm dead tired. Boy, they run fast. <laughs> the wolf started to wash the sheep one by one in the troughs in the barn. One sheep is clean, two sheep are clean, three sheep are clean. While the wolf was washing and counting sheep, he became more and more sleepy. It didn't take that long when I painted them. Uh, too bad for me, I'm not painting sheep ever. <sighs> it started to get dark outside. Oh, it's already night. I must have dozed off counting sheep. Uh, let me get a light over here. <sighs> the wolf found a string of light bulbs in the barn, but got tangled in the wire. I... Oh, Stop! Stop running! Bring back the lights! Stop! The police and artist approached the barn, but didn't know what the wolf was doing. I see he cleaned up the sheep, but I don't understand what he's trying to do now. The sheeps are entangled in the court. Ha 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 ha! Deal with it, Wolf. He always gets into trouble. Ha 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 ha! Hey, I just got a great idea. I, I'm, I'm telling you to stop. <laughs> Artist, help me please. Tell the police the sheep are all cleaned up. They'll no longer have paint on them. Please forgive me. It's no big deal, Wolf. But just had a great idea. An idea, huh? Don't tell me you'll paint the sheep. Please don't. No, of course not. But you have to help me. Smiling, Artist took the lights that had been tangled up in the sheep's feet and started sketching the most beautiful painting she had ever made. <coughs> the wolf and Artist worked all night. The result was a wonderful painting that was truly worth seeing. It's done, right, Wolf? It looks great! This is the most beautiful picture I've ever seen! Good thing I literally painted sheep, yay! <laughs> Wolf! Oh, okay, okay, I I'm kidding! Uh, anyway, this paint won't come off so easily. Uh, look at me! I've turned blue all over! <laughs> 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 Inventor
hunter was looking for something in the forest, very determined. I'm so close, but I had to work hard. What are you doing, Inventor? What's it in your hand? Hush! Be quiet! I was just wondering because i never seen such a tool before. What is it? This is a metal detector. I'm looking for metal in the ground. If it finds something, it will let me know. <laughs> will, will this device let you know? It the thing can! Have some patience, Wolf. You'll see how it works. Do you need metal? I have a fork and spoon if you want them. No, it has to be a very valuable thing. Valuable like a pirate's treasure? Do you think there's a treasure in a cave like that of Alibaba and the 40 thieves? Maybe diamonds or gold or emeralds or silver. No, Wolf, none of that. This is something more valuable. You're kidding, right? You just want to keep it to yourself. Wait, I became rich, yippee! <laughs> Are you rich? I mean we. Since we found it together, we became rich. I don't intend to share it with you. It's my invention. I'm hurt. You're so selfish. I accompanied you in your search all the morning long. If I weren't here, you wouldn't be bored. So let's make it bad. The treasure is mine if I find it first. If you say so. Then whoever finds it first, get those metals. If I find it, it'll be mine. You're being greedy. Even if you find it without any tools, how are you going to dig it out? You leave it to me. Do we have a deal? Yes, yeah, sure. Let's see how you will find it. Nice! But aren't we forgetting something? Like what? Well, you're a clever inventor. We need rules for the competition to be fair. Rules? What rules? I will use this tool. You, um, you, you'll use this pen. It doesn't seem fair, but okay, we got it. Who would agree so easily? The wolf thought he could win the bet, so he ran to the farm and gathered all his digging tools. <laughs> Fooling the silly goats, it's child's play. Does she think she can dig the ground with a pen? The metal finder gave a signal when the wolf returned with the pickaxe and shovel. Hooray! Hooray! I found it! It's right here! Get out of here! The treasure is mine! A pickaxe! A shovel! It's over! Hey! You hurt me! What are you doing, wolf? The wolf 
didn't pay attention to Inventor. With great determination, he hit where the metal was using the pickaxe. Stop, Wolf! You'll hurt yourself! Do not stand in the way! Aye. When the wolf hit the ground with the pickaxe, his body shook as if something was pushing him. It didn't work with the pickaxe. I have to try something else. Do you want me to help you? Go away! Now with this drill! Are you sure you don't want help? I told you to go away! Mind your own business! There was no drill! Sledgehammer! Yes! Why didn't I think of that before? The wolf tried his best all day long until it started getting dark, but he couldn't even dig an inch. What kind of stone is this? I can't break it at all! But wait, now you see. If I prop a U truck here, it'll work! As the wolf forcefully inserts a large rock into the sling, he noticed Inventor smiling, thinking she was making fun of him. He roared in anger. What are you laughing at? Don't you have work to do? Mind your own business! I've already taken care of my business, my friend. I'm watching you now. You're very diligent, but your efforts are in vain because you never listened to me. If you listened, you'd know I found the treasure. What? How? What did you find? How did you find it? Where did you find it? Yes! I found it while you were drilling. Did you cheat? There's no way you could dig here with a pen! I didn't dig. I used the pen to write a letter to my friend the mole. He brought me what I was looking for. The mole's house is made of solid stone, so you cannot dig it. What? What mole? A letter? A letter to the mole? When did you write the letter? Who brought it? Where is the postman? You were so focused on digging that spot that you didn't pay attention to anything else. So, so where's the treasure? Right here. It's a Mother's Day gift from my mom. I had buried it here so no one could find it. But the mole unknowingly made a den on it. But this necklace would be mine. I would have taken it when I broke the stone if it only opened. It's not fair. That's cheating. What is this? What's going on? Help! <laughs> you always get into trouble, Wolf. One day, someone knocked on the door at Stylish's house. Stylish! Stylish! I wasn't expecting anyone. Who could that be? Oh, Ruffle, hi! What's up? Stylish! It's been a while since we last saw each other. Did someone say Ruffle? The wolf stood by the window to listen to the conversation inside. Ruffle, you look so beautiful. Oh. I've been planning to have a picnic for a long time, so I need a dress for that occasion. What? Ruffle is having a picnic? Or, or is she planning a surprise for me? Okay, Ruffle, how about a blue dress? You'll be as beautiful as a blue sky. I'm not sure. I can't picture it. Hmm, okay. How about green? Just like a lush forest. I'm not sure. All right, then. How about a yellow dress? Wow. 
bright like the sun! I don't know, Stylish. It's hard to imagine it without seeing the dresses. Well, I can't sew all these dresses in one day. It'll take a few days, I'm sorry. Hmm, I thought you would know what kind of dress would suit me best. How would I know what you like? I wish there were a way I could see how the dresses would fit even without them. Ah, my dear Ruffle, anything would suit you fine. Hmm, actually there is. I'll be right back. Hey. Wait, Ruffle, don't be so impatient. Oh, it looks great. Wolf couldn't help himself and joined the conversation. Well, Ruffle... Wolf? What are you doing here? None of your concern, Ruffle. If you're dressing up for me, I just want you to know I don't really like yellow. Ha! <laughs> are you kidding me? Why would I dress up for you? What? Are you dressing for someone else? Wolf, would you leave us alone? We're very busy. No, no, tell me. Whom are you dressing up for? For elephant? Or lion? Wolf, have a nice day. Stylish closed the window and they continued choosing dresses. This looks nice, but I want something else. I need a summer dress. Like this? The wolf tried to decipher what they were saying. That's it. So, you are going to meet someone else, huh? I need to find out who this guy is. Wolf pondered a little and came up with something. Mm. Ruffa wants a new dress for her date. So that means she's meeting someone who likes the dress. The wolf came back to the window and climbed in. He grabbed the patterns from the girl's hands. Let go, wolf! I said let go of it! No way! Not until you tell me who you're having this picnic with! It's not of your business! Wolf grabbed the rest of the patterns from Ruffo's hand and escaped through the window. Is this it? No, it's not. Is this it? Neither is this. Ah, all of these are good for my Ruffle. Wolf couldn't guess which dress Ruffle preferred. However, he started asking around to find the guy who'd like the dress. Hey, tell me. Do you like this dress? Oh, it's beautiful. Huh? What? It's Ruffle dressing up for you! What? What are you talking about? All I know is that this dress would be better in yellow. What about this dress? I don't like it that much. The first one is the prettiest, but it should be yellow. Wolf, are you looking for a gift for someone? Hmm... So it's not you! Wolf went to another house. Do you like this dress? Mmm, it should have patterns. The wolf continued. Do you like this dress? Do you like this dress? Do you like this dress? Wolf asked all possible suitors for Ruffle, but he couldn't find anyone that liked the dress. Oh, who is Ruffle dressing up for? Nobody liked these dresses. Meanwhile, Stylish had already made the dress for Ruffle. Oh, this is great! Just what I wanted! You look very beautiful! It 
will be a wonderful picnic. Thanks for everything. Ruffles spread her blanket on the floor, took sandwiches out of her basket, poured some juice and waited. Where is this guy? Hey, Ruffra! Here he is. Yes, Wolf? I went to the lion, the elephant, the tiger, the zebra. So tell me, who is invited to this picnic? Whom are you dressed up for? For someone very handsome, for someone who is cheerful, a little mischievous, but always loving. Who is he? Is he more handsome than me? <laughs> he is just as handsome as you. As much as me. Just as much as me. Aperthus, I wanted to play a little prank on you, Wolf. I prepared all this for you. I thought we could have a nice picnic together. Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> Athlete was doing her morning exercises, the wolf came running to her. Uh, uh, athlete, athlete, you must help me. Seven, eight, nine. What's wrong, wolf? What's the problem? I dared Zebra to race, so we made a bet for tonight's race. I have to beat him. Huh? So do you want me to run in your place? Teach me how to run super fast so I can leave all the trail of dust behind. This takes time, Wolf. You can't do it in just one day. We don't have time. I have to be the fastest wolf in the forest tonight. Six, seven, eight, nine. Stop counting. Train me how to do it. Should I do that too? Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. Wolf, it's not just about performance. You need a healthy diet, too. Hooray! My favorite part is nutrition. No way. Come on, athlete. I promise to share the prize with you. Please, 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 please. Okay, okay. I'm not doing it for the prize. I'll help you understand that training cannot be done in one day. Wolf and Athlete entered the kitchen first. The kitchen! The kitchen is my favorite place! But, like I said, if you want to run properly, you have to pay attention to your diet. Eat this egg. I'm going to put on my running shoes. If I get strong after eating just one egg, imagine what will happen after eating ten! No one will be able to catch me! Five, six, seven, it's fun to even count! What did you do, Wolf? Did you eat all the eggs? I, I, I can't be stopped. I'm as fast as lightning. Let me run. Stop, Wolf. Wait for me. I'm coming. <laughs> you, you can't catch me, can you? Uh, oh, my stomach. Oh. When you eat like that, what do you think will happen? Uh, are you sure you know what you're doing? Uh, you said healthy, but it gave me a stomachache instead. Tell me something else. Other healthy foods, for example, walnuts, hazelnuts, but just a little bit. Stop! Don't say anything else. I know where to find nuts. Where did he go now? When the wolf disappeared, athletes set out to look for him. And right then, she found Wolf. Run! Run! Athlete! 
it run! What have you done? I, 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 I just borrowed some of the squirrel's nuts. There's no need for them to attack me. Woof! Athlete and Wolf barely escaped the squirrel attack and took shelter in the kitchen. Uh, are, are they gone? <sighs> they went away. Whoa, that was close. Tell me more about this healthy stuff. There's so much to learn about healthy stuff, but not all at once. Tell me anyway. Let me be the judge of that. For example, olive oil. Hmm, let's see. Don't drink it like that, Wolf. You're supposed to add it to salads or other foods. No time to waste. I'm drinking. Three, two, one. The wolf drank all the oil in one gulp. Ugh, that's not how it works. Oh, my stomach, it hurts so much. How are you going to run now? Don't underestimate me. I will win that bat. Well, let's run a little. Stop, stop. I'm better at eating. We don't need to run. Tell me something about energy. Energy? Uh, like honey. But not mixed. You ate everything. I'll be fine. The wolf left the house hastily. Wolf, we barely escaped the squirrels. Was that bad? We had to run, though. They found a honeycomb in a tree. The bees chased them, so they ran as fast as they could. I guess, I guess the bees aren't too happy about their honey being taken. But that's because you don't know how to ask properly. I ran fast, didn't I? You were faster than I expected. <laughs> I will make it. Oh, I have moss all over me. Oh, moss is also very healthy. Did you know? What are you saying? So, moss is exactly what I need. Wolf, I'm starting to feel nauseous. You must stop now. No, 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 no. Look how fast I ran. It does work. No, Wolf. If you go on like this, you'll get sick. Enlighten me with some wise words, please, 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 please. Please. Okay, okay. Yogurt, parsley, garlic, blackberries, fruits in general. Greens and veggies, they're all good for you. You are great, athlete. I love you. <laughs> The wolf ate all these foods at once. First the yogurt, then garlic, then fruits and vegetables. No matter how much athlete tried to dissuade him. Finally, it was time for the race. Are you ready, wolf? Wolf wasn't feeling well. Uh, I'm, I'm ready. Uh, actually, I think there's something wrong. Then let's get started right away. Athlete? Yes, Wolf? I'm not feeling well. My stomach. I don't want to see food ever. Wolf, I told you not to eat it all at once. Oh. What's wrong? I need to go to the toilet. It's urgent. Three, two, one. Start. Back off! Back off! I have to go to the toilet! Move! Move! The wolf ran so fast that he defeated the zebra. How did this happen? How did the wolf beat me? <laughs> so healthy food really does work. It just didn't turn out the way we expected. 
The wolf is pale. He went back to the zebra and athlete. Zebra handed the eggs in a basket over to the wolf. Take it, wolf. You won the race. You deserve the prize. That's right. The prize was eggs. Yikes! I don't think I'll be able to eat anything for a while. Ugh, it's happening again. Move, move, move! I have to go to the toilet. <laughs> That day on the farm, peace and quiet was interrupted when the wolf attempted to sing. They asked musician for help to see if he could solve the problem. Musician acted immediately. Wolf! Me, Wolf! Oh, hello, musician! Are you here to listen to my wonderful concert? Concert? You call this noise concert? Yeah, yeah! I'm also participating in the unicorn contest! There's a big prize for the best imitation! So, are you sure you want to enter the contest singing this song? Yes! Doesn't it sound like authentic unicorn music? Musician wanted to tell Wolf the truth, but didn't want to offend him. Would you like me to introduce you to a real unicorn? Maybe it'll help you. Are you serious? My dearest musician, you are the best! Wolf and musician hit the road. They crossed forests and streams until they reached the foot of a mountain. Oi! I'm out of breath! Are we, are we there yet? Hold on, Wolf! We're here! Look over there! I can't believe it! Are we climbing this mountain? I cannot do it! I'm dead tired! Come on, Wolf! Oof! Come on, wolf! No, I can't even lift my arm. Then I'll call my friend over here. Twinkle, Twinkle, come on, wolf, shout! Twinkle, I have a twinkle, I can't even shout. Twinkle! From the top of the mountain, a beam of light descended, followed by a rainbow. It's beautiful! Amazing! Oh, musician! I'm so happy you came! I miss you so much! I miss you too, my dear friend! Uh, uh, has anyone ever told you that you are beautiful? <laughs> oh, I, I, I bet they have! We came to ask you for help! It'd be my pleasure, whatever you want! Um, no, wait, wait, musician! Can we talk privately? What's wrong, Wolf? Well, I... I can't sing next to her. Why is that? Look at her mane, her wings. She's beautiful. So what happened? Um, I, I, I'm embarrassed. The whole farm has been listening to you for three days. Now you are embarrassed? Well, how can I help? Wolf is going to participate in the unicorn contest. That's fantastic. Of course, I'll help you. I didn't tell you the rest. We'll make Wolf the best unicorn ever. Hmm, let me see. Wings. Let's put on wings first. Musician and Twinkle made wings from the feathers they found on the ground. Wolf's costume turned out really nice. Oh, wow! Nice! Hmm, we're not finished yet. You have to practice how to pose. Show me your best stance. How's this? Uh-uh. How about this? Nope. This? 
Yikes! Focus, Wolf. Look, you'll stand like this. It's like you're going to take off at any moment. Okay, okay. Then we need to work on those looks as well. You have to look like you're going to say something really cool. Okay, cool. Let's practice your walk. Clip, clop, clippity clop. You'll walk like this. Um, okay, clip, clop, clip, clippity clop. And do we tie rainbow streamers to his tail? Wait, Twinkle. We didn't come here for this. Oh, so what did you come for? We came here so we can help Wolf sing. Ah, I see. That's important too. We unicorns sing very well. Come on, Wolf. Well. Come on, Wolf. Ah, uh, how I'm going to sing when I'm tone deaf. Wolf, don't be embarrassed. To be a unicorn means to be free, to be yourself. Hmm, being myself is okay. The wolf regrouped himself and began to sing his song. Me, 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 mana, 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 ma, ooh, ma, 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 Musician threw himself to the ground, covering his ears. Oh my gosh, it's getting worse and worse. Um, uh, am I so bad? Ah, uh, why did you stop? Because it's so bad. Is it bad? Is it not? Maybe bad for goats. Is it good for unicorns? Oh no, it's definitely bad for unicorns. Well then, who is it good for? For wolves who try to be themselves and pretend to be unicorns, of course. <laughs> how so? If you like how it sounds, then it's good enough. Wolf, she says you're beautiful as you are. You don't have to be embarrassed. Am I beautiful? Really? With Twinkle's help, Wolf rehearsed for the unicorn contest for days. He practiced posture. Gate and even wore a rainbow streamer in his tail, but... Sorry, Wolf. Zebra won the competition. That's so unfair! No worries, Wolf. A true unicorn knows how to celebrate when defeated. Celebrate? How, how, how will we celebrate? <laughs> By singing, of course. Come join me, musician. Come on, Wolf. Although the wolf did not win that day, he was pleased that he had a very nice evening and made a new friend, a unicorn. The sun rose and shone on the farm. Dreamer had just left the house and was about to remember what day it was. What a beautiful morning! It's sunny with a few puffy clouds. The flowers are in full bloom. The trees are green. Wait a minute. The sun, the flowers, the trees. Is it spring already? Easter! The wolf was passing by and heard Dreamer's joyful shouts. What are you shouting about? I have a headache. Wolf! Wolf! Today is Easter! Easter! What is that? Easter! On the day of rebirth, even nature awakens. Everything is reborn. Easter! Okay, but don't shout. I can't stand it. 
Oh, Wolf, I just noticed. What happened to your hands? A little accident. I touched the hot pan. Fortunately, your mother took care of it, and I'll be fine. Get well soon. Then you won't come along to collect eggs, right? Eggs? Where? Are the chickens giving eggs? Not the chickens, the bunny, Easter Bunny. Did you hit your head somewhere? Rabbits don't lay eggs. They don't have eggs. Come with me. You'll see. What are those ears? So that if the rabbit sees me, he won't be scared and run away. Holding baskets, Dreamer and Wolf went deep into the forest and looked for eggs between the bushes, under rocks, in holes, caves. They looked everywhere. Well, nothing. That's strange. Look, Dreamer. I like you, and I like eggs even more. There's nothing I wouldn't do for a basket of eggs. But it seems to me that you were dreaming. No, no! On Easter, the Easter Bunny hides eggs around. We need to find them and make a wish. The one who collects most eggs gets their wish granted. Dreamer put an end to the egg hunt. Unhappily, he sat on a rock. Uh, uh, I'm going then. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm going. Ha <laughs> ha. Look, going. Uh huh. Oh, okay. I can't leave you like this. What can I do to make you happy? Look, I have one egg at home. We can share it if you want. It's not just me, Wolf. All kids on the farm go out to collect eggs. I can't divide an egg in fifty, silly. Uh huh. Wolf got upset seeing Dreamer being upset, so he sat on the rock and began to complain. It was a beautiful dream, even if it was just a dream looking for eggs in the forest. It wasn't just a dream, Wolf. It's not real either. But but we can make it real. How? Hooray! Come with me. They headed towards the farm, and the first stop was the hen house. Um, Dreamer, the chickens—they don't like me much. Come with me. Really, they don't like me. Okay then, wait for me. He went to the hen house. Ah, that crazy goat! We are going to collect eggs in the forest. A bunny's egg. Here I am. Our eggs are ready. Oh, wow! <laughs> How? Did they just give you all their eggs? Yes, I said it was Easter. I have to keep this trick in my mind. Come on, let's get the paints from Artist Workshop. Well, why? What do we do with the paint? First, we boil the eggs, then we paint them. Dreamer and Wolf boiled the eggs first. Then they borrowed all the paints from Artist and sat in a corner, painting the eggs. Whoa! They look delicious. <laughs> These are not for you, Wolf. What? Aren't we going to eat? No. These are for the kids. You are out of your mind. Dreamer continued painting the eggs. Some were spotted, some monochromatic, and some were decorated with stars. Here's the last one. Dreamer, I can't let you do this. <laughs> Long live the eggs. <laughs> Stop, Wolf. Where are you going? 
They are all mine! I can't just give you those eggs! Wolf, stop! They are Easter eggs! Wolf started running fast. No matter how fast Dreamer ran, he could not catch up to him. Finally, Wolf stopped and sat under a tree to eat eggs. <laughs> Come to me, beautiful egg! <laughs> Aha! I found you! The wolf left an egg behind and started running again. Hey! Leave me alone! <laughs> wolf! Come here! And once again, Dreamer caught up to Wolf while he was sitting eating an egg. Wolf! Wolf ran away. Dreamer chased him. Wherever Wolf stopped, an egg fell to the ground. Oh, Mommy! I'm tired! <laughs> Wolf! Here, I got you! Uh, I I have no more strength to run anyway. Uh, take your eggs. Uh, uh. Dreamer took the basket. But, but, there are no eggs in this. Let me see. Oh no! Not even one egg is left because of you. <laughs> Wolf, look. What is happening there? The children are out collecting eggs! My eggs? No! <laughs> <laughs> yes! You were the Easter Bunny that distributed eggs this year! <laughs> this suits you very well! Actually, it suits! Let's join them! Okay, but, but I'll eat what I collect! Come on! Maybe we can collect the most. That's for sure. Long live Easter! Happy Easter, Wolf! Happy Easter, Dreamer! <laughs> Wolf was having a perfect day and was craving a nice salad today. If I collect some lettuce, some carrots and some radishes, yummy! A perfect salad! Wolf went into his garden excitedly. He was going to collect vegetables that he had carefully grown. But what did he see? Oh, my garden! My garden! Who, who could do such a thing? Wolf's garden was full of holes. The carrots, the lettuce and the radishes were no longer there. My carrots! Whoever did this will pay! Wolf looked to the right and the left. At first he didn't see anyone, but then a pair of ears caught his attention. What is that? Then a rabbit came out of one of the holes in his garden. Is that a rabbit? I'll show him now. <laughs> I got you! The rabbit went into the other hole. Wolf chased him. Uh, uh, come here, wicked rabbit! I know what I'll do with you! No matter how hard Wolf tried, he could not catch the rabbit. That's enough! I'll ask Inventor for help. Wolf immediately went to see Inventor. Who is the smartest, the most beautiful, the sweetest of the goats? Your best friend needs your help. Inventor was fixing a bookcase in her workshop. What's up, Wolf? As you can see, I'm a little busy. Um, I, I want to get rid of pesky nuisance destroying my garden. Was it a vegetable eating insect? I guess you can say that. Then I can give you insecticide. No, not pesticide. Hey, what's that next to you? Oh, that is my nail machine. I'm making a bookshelf for a genius, but I didn't want to be hammering. It looks great. Yeah, look, you hold the nail here, it takes a picture of it. 
then when it sees the nail again... As soon as the machine saw the nail, it lowered the hammer. You're brilliant, inventor! Can I borrow it for a few hours? <laughs> it won't work for insects in your garden. Don't worry about that. I'll bring it back, I promise. Okay, take it, but use it carefully. Wolf took Inventor's machine and returned it to his garden excitedly. He attached a big mallet to the end of the hammer and put the machine down. Now, I'll take a picture of a rabbit. Okay, everything is ready. I'll show them. Wolf was focused on catching a rabbit. Oops, I missed. Wolf focused again. I got you now. Not working. Wolf decided to try once more. I... Now I got you. I... Wolf caught the rabbit, but he tripped and fell in such a way that he accidentally pressed the photo button. Hey machine, who are you taking a picture of? Not me! You must take a picture of the rabbit! The machine started making noises. Then... Oh! Mommy! Wolf fell into one of the rabbit holes. Stop the machine! I'm talking to you! Oh! I... Enough! Help! Help! Robots are attacking! Mommy! While Wolf was trying to get rid of the machine in the garden, Inventor got tired of waiting for him and came to Wolf's garden. Hey, Wolf! Inventor! Help! What's going on? Save me! What did you do to my machine? Stop! Dad! It's hitting me! <laughs> you look so funny! <laughs> Everyone should see this! <laughs> Inventor turned off the machine. Okay, Wolf, it's okay now. You can come out. Can I come out? Yes, yes, come out! Are you sure? I'm coming out? Coming out? Oh! Come, I'll help you! Oh my gosh! I've been beating for hours! I told you this is for hammering nails, not for insects! But it can work on rabbits! I don't know about that, but it sure works on wolves! <laughs> don't love! I have a headache! You look so funny, wolf! <laughs> Come on! What's funny about that? Look! Wolf started watching the video. At first, he didn't like it very much. But then he burst out laughing. <laughs> it's, it's really funny! Look! Look! I look in a daze here! <laughs> <laughs> hey! A very funny idea came to my mind! My mind is not working right now. You go and rest. There are things I have to do right away. While Wolf took a nap, Inventor went to her computer. She drew, wrote, worked, worked and worked. <laughs> Looks great. Everyone will love it. Inventor ran to Wolf's house and knocked on his door. Wolf! Wolf! Don't shout! My head still hurts! Look! Look at what I've created! What did you do? A fabulous game! I'm not in the mood to play any games right now! But this is so much fun! I'll play, you watch! Inventor opened the game she had created on her tablet.
This, th this, this is me! Yes, this is you. Look, look, I, I hate your head. Oh my god, you can't show this game to anyone. It's so embarrassing. It's just a game and it's fun. <laughs> I just wanted a few carrots. <laughs> Don't you feel bad for me? <laughs> Come, Wolf, come. Let's play together. Okay, then. Let's play. <laughs> <laughs> Super fun! <laughs> that day, Artie was feeling a little blue. She wasn't inspired and couldn't paint beautiful pictures as she usually did. No, 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 no! What happened, artist? Why are you upset? I'm not feeling inspired at all. I promised to put together an exhibition for stylish party next week, but I just can't focus. Hmm, the other day, Genius told me something about focusing. What did he say? He told me what he had read in a book in a land far away in order to focus. Yes, in order to focus? What else? People remain silent for an entire day. How do you mean? It's weird, isn't it? Apparently, they don't say a single word all day long. They ought to be silent. Do you think that'll work? I don't know. I love talking, but maybe you can give it a try. Artis thought this over for a little while and decided to take a vow of silence. The day started well. She just nodded to those who greeted her. In order to avoid running into people, she took her canvas and paint kit and headed out to the forest. Oh no! Help! Help! Panicking, the wolf ran towards the artist. Oh, artist! I'm so glad you're here. You gotta help me! Artist didn't ask the wolf what had happened. The wolf thought it was a bit strange, but he didn't say anything about it. Come on, artist! Help me out! The wolf grabbed artist's arm and took her deep into the woods. I started a fire to get warm, but this tree suddenly caught fire. I don't know what to do. Although Artis didn't reply, she was worried too. So she started throwing dirt onto the flames. Artis, say something. What should we do? Artis remained silent. Oh, you're doing the thing we talked about yesterday. You've taken an oath of silence. Artis nodded. Unless you break your wow, you can't help me. Just as the wolf was about to leave, Artis grabbed his arm because she came up with an idea. She opened her sketchbook and... Uh, what are you drawing? A glass of water? Are you thirsty? Now isn't a good time, Artis! Artis opened up a new page and drew another picture. A bucket of water? Uh, water? For the fire! Uh, there was a garden hose around here somewhere. The wolf ran to find the hose, turned on the water and put out the fire. Whew. We got this. Well done, artist! Artist's silence started to annoy the wolf. Hmm. You're not gonna talk. I'll take off. I can't spend my day like this. As soon as the wolf turned his back to leave, artist heard a sound. Upon closer look, she noticed a terrified little bird on the treetop. 
She pointed at the bird for the wolf to see it. What? What's in there? Artist kept pointing at the bird, but the wolf didn't understand what she meant. Leaves? I don't understand anything. Are you showing me the clouds? Artist grabbed her sketchbook once again and drew a little bird. Oh, that's so cute! Yes, yes, I see it now! Poor thing! I, I'll help it down! The wolf wanted to climb the tree. He even tried to get on Artist's shoulder, but it didn't work. It's not working! What's that? What are you drawing? Is that a letter? I don't have a letter that tall! What is that? Mm, a rope. A rope may work. The wolf pulled the rope, but he wasn't strong enough to climb the tree. It's not working, Artist. We need to find another way. Artist drew another picture. What are you drawing this time? Paper? Or uh, what is it? A, a, a bat? A uh, paper on a bat? Oh, okay, 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 it's a sheet. But what for? The wolf started to enjoy this drawing game. Is that a monkey? Am I supposed to play monkey with the sheet? It's a rabbit, I guess. Wait, uh, and, and a grasshopper. A monkey, a rabbit and a grasshopper. I got it! It's jumping! The wolf got confused. You, you, you want me to jump with the sheet? Artist nodded in approval and showed him the picture of the bird again. It's not me who needs to jump on the sheet. It's the bird, Artist! You are brilliant! The wolf and Artist pulled the sheet under the tree and told the bird to jump down. Then they returned the little bird to its family. That day, Artist didn't talk at all. She communicated through drawings. When she woke up the next day, she was feeling incredibly cheerful. Good morning! <laughs> So you are talking again, huh? Oh, it was so hard not to talk. Well, uh, did it work? Did you get some ideas? No, no new ideas. Ah, uh, it was all for nothing then. No, quite the opposite. Look, my exhibition is ready. The wolf was impressed when he saw the pictures artists had drawn the day before. Have you decided on a title for your exhibition? What do you think I should call it? Silence! <laughs> <laughs>